we're still on lockdown with the COVID-19 so uh, I'm out to do my exercise and while I'm out here I'm gonna stop and pick some common hogweed I'm gonna take it home boil it up for no more than 10 minutes and I'll tell you what it tastes like and the texture and then after that I might uh, add some lemon butter and a bit of pepper as well Let's see what it tastes like then so uh, stick around Ooh <laughs> Okay, that's what common hogweed looks like, and it is really common. It grows everywhere in the UK. I'm not sure about Scotland. I, I've never been there, so. Uh, but anyway, there's the stalk, and that's what it looks like at the back. And uh, to give you an idea of the size, there's me tire of me bike. So, so there you go give you an idea I'm not gonna eat this one cuz I it's best to pick the younger ones although you could you could eat this it'd be all right so I'm gonna pick the young ones so I've seen some around there's, there's one sort of young so the, the leaves are still sort of filled up a bit so uh, and it's still up, upright and not leaning over so I'm gonna just gonna have a look down there make sure there's no adders or anything uh, there's a stingy nettle. Uh, there you go. I'll try and avoid that <laughs> and get that. Oh, it's got stung. Ugh. That'll do. There's one. And I'll just get a few more. Let's put that down there. Where's the other one I've seen? As you can see, it's really common. It's all over the place. Uh, while I'm looking for the younger ones I've seen before There's another one. I'll try not to get stung this time. There you are. Get that one No adders There we go I'll Put that with that and I'll just get a few more. There's another one there, straight away on it. Look at that, nice and young. That's not go, got no sting. There we go. Have that one. There we go. I'll get a few more and I'll get them in my bag and then uh, I'll take them home. But as you could see, this stuff is really is common. It's all over the place. It'll grow on its own as well. And it's a nice spring veg. Anyway, I'll get some more and uh, if anything is, don't get, don't get it mixed up with um, giant hogweed, which grows near rivers. And uh, the stalk is like, thick like that it grows to about 10 feet and uh, the leaves are like bigger than my bike wheel so uh, they're really big so there's no mistaking really it's got purple blotches as well I think but uh, yeah but don't get mixed up with that one okay I've got enough so uh, I'll get that meat bag now and then uh, take them home and cook them up. Okay, first of all, I'm going to give them a wash. Right. 
plates. First of all, I'm going to set my cooker up. Now, this one I'm using today is my homemade Trangia cooker, which uh, I've done a separate film on that, on how to make it. So uh, I'll just set that up. And also I've got my 18 centimeter uh, Trangia frying pan and the chopping board. And I've also, this time I've, I've I've added the Life Venture titanium plate as well. So I'll just set this up. Right, now I've got the cooker set up on the flat. Uh, I think I'll light it and then start chopping the veg up then. So let's get this. Let's get the, get the pressure up to this a minute. Yep. A bit squirted out. Yep, first time, lovely. Okay, now I'm going to chop this up. Oh, I haven't got a knife. I'll have to come back. Okay, I'm back. Just uh, start cutting this up. Bite sized pieces. Oh. Now, all this stuff I'm using, it's all from my rucksack. There's nothing from the house. You can, all, you can carry all this in the rucksack. Very easy, it's nice and light. Very small and compatible. Compatible? Wrong word. <laughs> packable. That's what I should have said. Packable. Yeah, it's more like it. One thing I forgot to mention is um, you don't have to peel this hogweed. You can just uh, cook it like it is. So uh, no peeling. Nice and easy. Right, now I've chopped it up, stick it in the pot. Right, let's have a taste. I've been boiling it now for just under 10 minutes. So let's try and get a big piece. There we go, nearly got it. There. There we go. Mm. Nice and soft. So uh, I'll get that on a plate and I'll explain what it tastes like. Right, lucky enough, my uh, 18 centimeter chopping board from Transia fits the top of my pot.
hot. Just like that, lovely. I'll just strain this out. Oh, what am I, what am I doing? I didn't want to do that. <laughs> oh, I'm good in the kitchen. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's nice and soft. And I don't know whether you can see that. I don't want to tip it out. And it tastes very vegetably, like um, like like sprouts in a way. Not quite, but sort of sprouty, but better. Yeah, definitely better than sprouts. So um, mm. that's all right. I'm not even hungry, so, uh, hmm. I better leave some because I'm going to try it with a bit of butter. And, um, some lemon as well. And see how that goes. I'm just going to light the, uh, melt the butter a bit. I just put it, just put it on the uh, the cooker there. Don't know whether you can see that. And I'll just get some lemon on. I have this for a cup of tea in the morning. That'll do. I'll have the rest of that for a cup of tea. And. I didn't mention it before, now I'll uh, put a bit of pepper on as well. Oop, blow it away. And again. Oh, I don't want to put too much on, I might mess it up. That'll do. Alright, let's just get this melted butter. That'll do. That'll do. Let's get this fire out again. Okay. Just mix it up a bit in the butter and pepper and the lemon. There you go, I don't really see that. Mmm. <laughs> oh, it's lovely. Mmm. Bit too much butter. Not enough pepper. Mm. Lemon's about right. Um, yeah. Wow. It's real nice. Mm. I've got no problems eating this. It's lovely. Anyway, you don't want to watch me eating this, so uh, I'd just like to say thanks for watching. Hope you learned something, and uh, hope to see you again on the next one, hopefully. Hopefully twice? No. Anyway, thank you very much.